Today, I'm going to try to figure out what's going on with this Cub Cadet, what's causing the uh, no charge issue, or at least that's what I think is going on. So I am back from vacation, so I can put some time into this um, here and there. Uh, the parts came in that I ordered for it, you know, that I ordered with the stuff I needed for my chainsaw, the previous video I put up. Anyway, this uh, is a new gas gauge I got from Parts Tree. The other one was cracked and uh, the gasket was bad. So anyway, I ordered that and um, I guess first thing we got to do is go get the battery from inside. It's been sitting on the trickle charger and we'll hook it up and then we'll drive it up to the front in the better light and closer to the uh, where all my tools are. And we'll hook up the multimeter, see if it's charging the battery. Um, I guess we'll also check and uh, see what's going on. I mean, this gauge should read, from what I can tell, uh, towards the right is what I'm hearing online. That means it's charging. But we can just also figure out if it's actually doing anything at the battery. Um, anyway, I guess I'll go get the battery, and next time I check in, I'll be at the front of the house with the running. So I've got the cub up in front of the house. And you know, once I put the battery in, it started right up. Thing to note, it's like slightly to the right. I don't know if y'all, let me sit down. You can see it's slightly to the right. So it looks like it's barely charging. But then when I turn the lights on, it goes over to the left. And then if I turn the lights off, it cuts back over to the right. Mostly dead center, but it does cut over. So I'm going to go grab the multimeter and double check that. I'm definitely thinking it's a charging issue. What I'll probably end up doing is uh, remaking these with a higher gauge, checking all the wiring at the same time. And uh, making sure I have a good ground. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Actually, I'm gonna go grab the multimeter and double check. But if it checks out that I'm not charging, then I'm not gonna show it anyway. I went ahead and made some uh, better battery cables. Um, I used leftover cable from, I think, my Jeep. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, it's about four gauge full copper to give you an idea of the uh, size difference let's see if I can get this without let me turn on the brightness this is a side by side comparison from when I was in the house let's see anyway I'll put a link in the description to the Instagram pic but yeah so Obviously that wasn't the problem, but the cables that were on there were not very great, so I went ahead and upgraded them. Um, honestly, not really sure where to go next. I might upgrade all the wiring in here. This one goes up to the front. Right up here, I believe. That is the star. Maybe I need to upgrade the ground there. I don't know. I can't. Uh, if anyone has any ideas where to go next, it's obviously not charging the battery. And for the time being, I guess I can just um, every time I'm done with it, you know, hook it up the battery up to the trickle charger like the day before. I plan on mowing anything um, and then putting it back in. But, I mean, ideally, I'd like to go ahead and figure out how to get the sink fixed, so. Yeah. So, something interesting is happening. The gauge is showing that it's charging. And I'm not sure what's different. I mean, I was going to go put it up, you know, until I could get back to it, kind of thing. So I was going to drive it over there, but now it's showing, I mean, it's 
it's not that far ever. But hold on. I'll show you when I come out. to check it would be great. I'm not familiar with these at all. And I want this thing running right, so any help would be appreciated. Thanks guys. <laughs> 